And what drew you to this area five years ago? You got married. A girl. It's always a girl. What? Did you call me Daddy. Papa? Papa, <laughs> no. No, not Papa. That's it. I'm being sold off. That's it. I got a kid now. I tried to, but it was too crowded. It was too, it was too many people. So eat. All right, gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers. Holy smokes. I'm still new here. Good morning. Good morning from Aaron Guy. Aaron Guy. Yeah. Ring. Aaron Guy. Alan here. Yeah. Once again. And he's going to take me down to the market. I thought, I thought uh, the wife was going to take me. Yeah. Oh, it's changed now. No. Changed that, yeah. All right. That's okay. I like it. Alan's pretty cool. So that's okay. Yeah. All right. How are we going? We're going to ride the pedicab to go to the market. All right. First, we're going to go in the trike. My favorite thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> when you're tall. Hey, oh. I almost fit. I can look at myself. Okay, Alan. Yeah. This is looking pretty cool. They take over the whole street. Yeah. <laughs> and so is it, this is usually open this street, right? Yeah. It, it because of uh, pump, uh, what's that? Market uh, day. Market. Yeah. yeah. So during market, market day, day they let it close. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay. Cool. All right. So we lucked out. I got here on market day. So this place is going to be uh, full of action and people everywhere. Sorry. A vegetable section. Vegetable section is over there. Yeah, it's over there inside. I'm kind of liking this first. Does this go anywhere or do I have to go that way first? You know it's best. It's the same. It goes uh, the okay. wrong It's the same difference. All right, cool. I just want to, be, before I go indoors, hello, little man. Hello. Hello. Maganda Umaga. Kamusta. Got to start saying that more often, too. Look at the prices. Three bucks for two, two, two jeans. I love the brooms, by the way. These brooms, like, I'm not, a, like, obviously I don't do a lot of sweeping or cleaning very often, but when you do, uh, these are way better than a regular balloon, uh, broom, definitely. And then these are great because you can use them out in the rocks like this, and it cleans so well. Bamboo, my goodness. Wow. And so this is only one day a week? Two days. Two days? Wednesday and Sunday. Wednesday and Sundays, okay. So all this space is just for that. That's incredible. But they're surrounded like by uh, Agu is another pretty big town. And then uh, the city, the city's what, San Juan? Yeah. San Juan is the city? No, oh, San, San Fernando. San Fernando, thank you. San Juan is where we went for the beach. Yeah. San Fernando, so yeah, you got San Fernando nearby. Oh, I have to go up here? Yeah. Okay. All right, a little exercise never killed anyone. Wow. Well, <laughs> not true, <laughs> not true. A lot of people who shoveled snow at home go end up with a heart attack. I walk everywhere. Oh, placemats. How are you, brother? All right, here's the meats. Keep it up high. That is, I guess, good at the end of the day. Hello, how are you? This way it keeps the smell in a separate area. Not bad, actually, up here. A lot of air movement and the seafoods. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Magando Umaga. Butchers, as usual, always super friendly. Let's go see the fish people. How are you, brother? Magando Umaga. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All the fresh cast fish. How are you? I'm fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Hello, hello, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hello. How are you? Hi. What's your name? I'm Rafi. Rafi? Yeah. Rafi. Nice to meet you, Rafi. How about you? Michael. From uh, Canada. Canada. Yeah. No joke, no joke. There's a lot of Filipinos in Canada. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot. So how come you're here and not in Canada? You like it here, right? The Philippines is beautiful and it's never cold. Yeah. All right. And in Canada, oh, it's so cold. So much snow. And here it's summer every day. Yeah. Every day. It's beautiful. You got 
summer and rain, that's it. Uh, maybe this time in July. June, July, it's the rainy season. Oh, okay. Let's yeah. See. Plus, if you want cold, you can go up the mountain to Baguio. Oh, yeah? Yeah, right? You're close to Baguio, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, brother. Nice to meet you. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Right. Hello, good morning, Kumusta and Maga. Wow, oh, um, what? What? Look at this bad boy. Holy. Wow. Imagine catching that one. Now that would be a good catch. How are you, sir? Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, look at that. When, I, when they put the name on them, I actually know what they are. Maya Maya. Oh, I can't say that one though. Talakito. Talakito. Yeah, I'll let you say it. That's great. Very, very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I really love Philippines for their markets so. though. It's just so lively. Even if you don't need anything, you just can come here because you're going to meet everybody in town. Well, the last night, that was cool. Yeah, it was cool watching everybody dance for the fiesta and everything. Uh -huh. Everybody was all out. Big family type thing, you know, like we're community, family, everybody all in one. It was so nice. Wow. Wow, I can't keep up. All right, so is this one of the older sections? And then the, what's it called? The mall. Oh, you have a mall right yeah. there too, wow. Well, I guess they don't get a lot of business because the market gets the most business. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, of course. Good morning, Magandan Omaga. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Beautiful market. Good morning. Of course. <laughs> yeah, they, any of the beauty salons, the guys that are in the beauty salons, they always go excited. They always get so excited and very over the top. Very, very over the top. Shocking no one. Um, oh, look at that. Like a pharmacy in the middle of... Yeah, it is a pharmacy. Right in the middle of the market here. Good morning. How are you? All right, fantastic. Maganda and Umaga. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello guys, hello. Hi. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, young man. Maganda no Gomaga. Good morning, good morning. Hello. Hello guys. That Philippines life though. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. It's nice because they're so close to Baguio here, so they can get all of the hearty vegetables that you can't get in most places, except for the ones that are grown in the mountains. So you get the, the potatoes, you get the onions, and yeah, squash even. Sweet potatoes, and cucumbers, of course. Cucumbers, really hard to find here. No problem in this part. Hello again. Good morning, good morning. Lots of yum here. I, I, you know, it's easy to be a vegetarian here if you come to the markets because all the great food. Good morning. All the great foods that you could get. Oh, butchoy. Wow. Yeah, that's not, that's not normally in the market. You're right. And romaine lettuce. Hello, guys. So you can make your Caesar salads without having to use like cabbage, like sometimes they do, the, or just regular lettuce. So they got everything here. Good morning, good morning, Maganda Umaga. All right, back on the street now, and as you can see, that's the mall there, the town center. Baked goods and everything are going to be out here. Oh, and we got a truck. So this is the like the highway yep. that, that takes you all the way up the coast. So if we're going to Locos or any, going anywhere up here, this is the way to go. Vegan. Um, so that's why it's a little harder to cross this one street. So, um, this will remind a lot of people of America, the mall's dead. There's nothing. Um, just the grocery store. Otherwise, they're, they're all out of business. Or for lease. Everybody does go to the market in this town. Um, so yeah, small businesses for the win, I guess. 
Just one cell phone guy here and well, two. Two cell phone people. And I think they're the same people. Alright. Just the grocery store on the main floor. You want the big malls. Is there like SM and Robinson? Is yeah, all... but Robinson is San Fernando. San Fernando. Oh, no SM? Yes, they're going to Bindo. Okay. So San Fernando, that way, but one hour, um, is where you would go for the big, big malls. Wow, look at that mountain up in the background there. I like that. And here is the Barangay Hall. Um, and a lot of people go here to get their... Um, healthcare and stuff like that. Hello everybody, good morning, good morning. Maganda Umaga. Mandaga, oh, Gamanda, yeah. Kamusta. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Good morning everybody. Maganda Umaga. Yeah, all the single moms that go there for their, uh, get their healthcare uh, for free, right? Uh, that's free. That's free, okay. You get to see, is it a doctor or a nurse or something? No, just a uh, just like a nurse only, but a nurse, like okay. under under uh, college. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, but it's a good way to get free health care. Yeah, All right. So that's where you can take if your kid gets a cold or sniffles or something. Yeah, you won't go there for emergencies or anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Hello, good morning. And one thing you're going to always find is you see pawn shop, pawn shop, pawn shop. It's not really a pawn shop. It is a way for OFWs and others to send money to the Philippines. And it is one of the biggest economy drivers in this country. Send money. Yeah, to get, send, send, send or get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, lot of time, a lot of times you're getting money from OFWs and stuff like that, right? Um, or if you send your kids go to college and then they go work in the city, they send money back to the parents. So it doesn't even have to be out of the country. But I made the mistake of thinking they had like pond, pond items. They don't really have pond items. Sometimes though, you can get rings, but they won't have very big selection. Rings and necklaces. Okay, it's a highway, so it's kind of rough. Oh, we could have went. All right, that's okay. I got Alan here. Good morning, ladies. Maganda Umaga. Oh, and gentlemen. Sorry, and gentlemen. Is that the vlog? Yes, YouTube vlogger. Oh, yeah. What's that? Nice. What's your account? That Philippines Life. That ah. Philippines Life. Yes, I just travel around to different towns. Good morning. And cities and stuff like that and show what life is like here in the Philippines. Oh, that's good. I will look all my viewers are looking to move here, so move to the Philippines. That Philippines Life. Life. Thank you very much. Thank on YouTube. You. Thank you, girls. And gentlemen. Thank you. Well, it's a very friendly town. Very friendly. Good morning, brother. You from here? Can I ask you a question? Fantastic. What's your name? Bruce. Bruce? So, Bruce, how long have you been here? Uh, coming up to five years. Five years? And you live right in the town? No, I live in San Eugenio, California. Is that illegal? Even smaller? Yeah, yeah. But how far? Uh, about three, four miles. Three, four miles. Oh, okay, basically the same, man. Yeah, same yeah. area. So, what do you think of the area? Kind of a sleepy town, quiet. Yeah, no, yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah you it's love got, the next. Nice good, quiet. really good market. Yeah. And do you go down to the beach here, like Samara? Oh yeah, I go to uh, Echo Park, and I go. Oh, it's also one to Dulao. We've got uh, two over that side. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's quite a bit out this way. Oh right? yeah, yeah, nice right. beaches around here. Really. Right. Really and what drew you to this area five years ago? You got married. <laughs> a girl. It's always a girl. Well, hey, you're still married, right? Yeah, I'm still married. So there you go. Everything went well. Everything's going well. Fantastic. So what can you tell me about this area here that maybe somebody doesn't know? It's got one of the best fish markets in town. There you go. There you go. So if you love fresh seafood, oh, it's yeah. a fantastic Fish, place. oysters, shrimp, you name it. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Well, yeah. thank you very much. That's Appreciate right. it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, listen to how quiet it got over here. This is the barangay of Sarmara and in Erangay. And it is so nice out here. The sand is the volcanic sand. Should be no shock to anybody with all the mountains around. 
but it is very very soft super super duper soft and look at that that's a nice beach line i don't see any garbage nothing it's really pretty good morning good morning and at, uh, later on in the day some of these restaurants will be open oh that one's open over there i think you got the fishermen going out apologize for the wind guys this new camera i don't have a windscreen just yet i literally bought it just a couple days ago in a department store nice really long beach here good for going for long walks it's probably like a kilometer and a half before i see any uh, break to it anyway and yeah it's really pretty here and it's not like like super developed or anything so there's a lot of areas in here that you probably could buy um, some land lease land whatever build your dream house Good morning, Magand Magandan Umaga. Oh, well, that was way too long. I didn't understand half of that. What was the rest? So you said good morning and what else? What does that mean? Good morning, then. Oh, it's just a longer version of good morning. Fantastic. Maybe like the more... What's that mean? We are in La Union. We are in Locanos. Oh, this is not Tagalog here. No. There you go. We are in One new language. But a dialect or language? Dialect. They call it a dialect. Perfect. Nobody get offended. He said it, not me. Yeah. Say it again. Dialect. Dialect of uh, <laughs> Filipinos. Ilocano, they're... Yeah. Yeah. It's Ilocano. Well, it's lovely to meet you all. What a beautiful morning. Nice breeze. Nice and cool. Oh, yeah. It's nice. And all these guys getting ready to go... I guess for the next night, they're getting everything ready. Good morning, good morning. Because they usually fish at night. They don't fish during the day, so. Well, I'm not Papa. What? Did you call me Papa? No, not Papa. Hello, hello. Hello. Papa, money, you like that? Oh my goodness. That's it, that's it, I'm being sold off. That's it, I got a kid now. Oh my gosh. New family, new family. Anyway, wonderful to meet you, seriously. It's really great, thank you very much. Wow, let's see. Uh, I don't think there's any of the businesses that are open yet, right? No, it's unfortunate. But we can go over into town there. Yeah, we're in town village. <laughs> Barangay. Take care. That's it. I'm a papa already. <laughs> I'm a papa. What can I say? Just randomly end up with children. This is one of the businesses here, right? Yeah. The gate's open. Let's just peek at it. We got a little bit of music going on in here. Yeah, first thing in the morning on a Wednesday, I guess there's just not a lot of business going on. They're just doing some sweeping up and everything. I'm sure later on at dinner time, more will come. I see that they have a little bit more going on over here. There you go. Another reason you might want some land, even if you lease it, is you can have yourself a little beach resort. Try to make it pay for itself and uh, have a nice little place to crash and live. It's not a bad thing, guys. It's not a bad thing. Especially if you're good at Facebook marketing and stuff. You could get enough customers in here and uh, live your best life. Am I wrong? Oh, beautiful view though. And there's a bit of haze, but we're too far from any city. It can't possibly be just pollution. There's no way. Well, somebody can tell me something different, but I can't imagine. Turquoise waters. So nice. Okay, so here we go. Here's the sign. Hey, good morning. I love Samara. Good morning, good morning. Maganda and Umaga. Come say hello. All right, I'll come say hello. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Hello. Good morning to everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely, lovely little barangay. I love this. Right on the beach. Woo. It's so nice. It's so nice. I'm going to go and explore the rest of it over here. Well, the church isn't uh, extravagant. But they got like all these fish ponds, I guess, in there, or the river. 
Yeah, maybe the river. I see a goat out by it. Right on the side here. Their multi-purpose hall that's not a gymnasium for basketball. Just equipment and storage. I see it's a fire evacuation. So they got the school here and so what happens is they'll have all the good morning guys good morning and they'll have uh, some of the vendors set up here there were some more when we drove by so that one was occupied and because uh, the parents so some of the parents just stay all day while the kids are in school and they just hang out good morning Magandu Maga how are you how are you and uh, yeah so it's like a little caldari sort of thing all set up here good morning everybody Maganda Maga all different kinds of foods and juices good morning good morning good morning how is everybody do you happen to sell does anybody happen to sell in here like three in one coffee or anything no coffees here could you use another? three in one no no little little packets okay Coffee's not a big thing. You gotta have sodas. That's yes, soda sodas and, uh, and water. How about halo halo? You want it? Oh, they're making halo halo. Yeah, that's not. Ooh. Yeah. And oh yeah, she's shaving the ice here. Yeah. Oh, look at that big block of ice. The ice cream. All right. And uh, Alan. Yeah. All right. Let's go for it. Let's let's go for halo halo. Fantastic. You're going to have one too? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's have two. All right, so they put a lot of sugar, so I said, only please give me half. And, uh, because that's just a bit much. Look at that, it's a snow cone with some, uh, snow cone with some, uh, <laughs> toppings. <laughs> Do, does your hand get frozen? Huh? <laughs> Do you freeze your fingers? <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> There you go. Not in Canada, but he did a, still get a snow cone. Evaporated milk. And... Oh, thank you, sir. So, what are your names? What's your name? Anna. Anna? Geraldine. Geraldine? Anybody over here? Hello, hello? <laughs> Too shy? <laughs> maybe, maybe. How about over there? What's your name? All right, I better come over. I can't hear you. I'll scoot back here. It's all right. What was your name? Vanessa. Vanessa? Nice to meet you. All right, I got to chase everybody away. I don't mean to chase you guys away. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, That Philippines Life. Uh, yeah, That fit. Perfect. That Philippines life. Good old Samar. Oh, look at that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Back here for a second. Take a look at this. From a fiesta, I guess. And I just kept the gambling. Or they're just setting it up. I'm not sure. But they, that's the gambling stuff where they spin off and... Uh, you got to pick on this one, it's letters, not numbers. And whatever one the ball lands in is the winner, winner, chicken dinner. What a peaceful place though, eh? Look at that back there. Yeah, I know. I saw her hand all over my snow. But I'm sure her hands are probably clean because it's all she's been doing is scraping ice. Not a big deal. A few random cows, goats. Quiet little beach brown guy. Hey! Hello, guys! Oh, right away, hiding your face? Okay, okay, okay. All right. As soon as they put their t-shirt up over their face, I'm like, okay, I won't go that way. Look at this guy honking his horn. Oh, you someone some food? Oh, I'm I'm okay for food. I ate breakfast oh. already, but uh, what is that, my friend? Yeah, uh, this is kind of uh, oh, they're like kenta. treats. Yeah, come. Yeah, this so like desserts, right? Oh, desserts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's combination. But 
Yeah, I got my I got my uh, halo halo here. Halo halo. Yeah, Depression, yeah. Tradition, photo ko cinta, hindi sapi sapi. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> and I love this, brother. I guess this way the sun doesn't cook you. Okay. Yeah, all the covers you got. Oh, yes, Call of cover. Duty. Duty. Call of Duty. I like how you made that up with two T-shirts. It's cool. Thank you, brother. All right, let's well, Alan. Where did Alan go? He's getting his hollow hollow and walking around, maybe. Maybe. Okay. They got me a chair here. All right. Hollow hollow. Mix mix. You must be big in it, getting big muscles. You have been going on that for a while now. Hollow Hollow is like super popular here, so it makes sense. Everybody's gonna order the Hollow Hollow. There he is. Hello. Hello, hello. You got your Hollow Hollow, brother. And back in San Juan, La Onion, and uh, by the way, not La Union, that's how I would pronounce it, it's La Onion. So uh, this time we are at, it's called Final Option. Option? Yeah, the Final Option. Apropos, isn't it? And uh, it is a German-owned place, as you can tell, a beach resort and German bistro. And apparently, Michael says, the food is fantastic here. It is. And consistently fantastic. And consistently fantastic. Plus, it's beautiful, and it's right on the beach. It's very nice looking, that's for sure. Looks quite recent, too. I don't know how new it is. Yeah, it is. Very modern looking, very nice looking. Oh, that's the awesome hotel. That's a different place. Yeah. So this is the place here. We'll have some awesome food here. Awesome food and so you're gonna... Go to the awesome for some awesome... Hotel? Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Go get some of that awesome hotel. All right, so you can see they have some rooms here right off of their pool. Quite nice. Hey, good afternoon. And here we go. German Bistro with a great view. They got some copyright music, so be careful. Look at all the liquor they have in there. Liquor goes down quicker. And uh, look at beer on tap. German beer. German beer. Three German beers on tap. What the heck? Yeah, you know how to pick them. You know how to pick them. And here we go. Hey, good afternoon. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello, sir. What is it? Magandan Hapon? Omaga, Omaga, thank you. Yes, sir. Maganda oh no, maga. isn't it the, it's the afternoon now though. Oh, it's 11.30, my fault, my fault. Look at this. Oh, Mike, we can even sit out there. Is that the same place? No, I think that, is that the awesome Yeah. Yeah, no, it's the same place. That's the same place, brother. Oh, that's your place. Yeah, yeah we can sit out, it's, it's shaded. It's service down there? Sorry? You have service down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Go. What's your name? Ranny, sir. Ranny? Listen, yeah. Ranny, you're going to give us the absolute best service today? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Absolute. Perfect. Absolute best service, Michael. You hear that? Yeah, I believe All right. Good man. Good man. Look at that. Beautiful <laughs> beach. This is so nice. And I'm still thinking about the German beer right now. Yeah. Wait, is one of them, uh, what are the three different kinds? Yeah, the healthy, sir. Like one, the Altenebe, Old Lab, and the Dark. Okay, so it's from light to dark. Yeah, yes, sir. Perfect. I definitely want the light one then. I love those. Uh, what, 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 uh, sir? Oh, you have Five different sizes? Three, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, there's a half liter and there's a 0.3 liter, though. Wow. Yeah, 140 pesos, but the half liter is 250. So it's 10 pesos cheaper when you divide it. Mike, you picked a good spot, brother. Hello everybody. Hi, good, good, good morning. Good morning. Maganda no maga. Maganda no maga. Maganda no maga. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm Canadian. You know, I'm not perfect at it, but good morning. So, is this uh, like paradise or what? This is paradise. This is the final option. It's the final option when it comes to having a paradise. That's right. That's right. You don't need any more option. It's yeah. the final option. But yeah, it's so pretty here, and the beach goes all the way down around the corner. It's a great place. 
Yeah, this is sweet. Oh, you don't want to be down there? Oh, is that where we're going? Right on the beach. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, we're going to go on the beach. I, Sorry, Mike. I, I, Michael's like trying to sit down and I keep moving him. I keep moving him. It's my fault. <laughs> well, hang around me. You'll exercise a lot. I don't stop moving. Uh, no, thank you, my friend. I don't even know what it is, but I, I think I'm okay. What are you trying to sell me? Poker chips? What is that? No, no, just tell me what it is. It looks like a poker chip. Oh, the fake silver dollars. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> no, Philippines is famous for the fake silver dollars. Yeah, never buy them, by the way. Unless you just want junk. Yeah, yeah, they're not real. They're not real. There's so many places down here. This is really, really great. Beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. And you can get surf lessons down here, too. I get it. I get now, like, why that other place was expensive and all that. Like, this is... This is really a nice spot. All right, gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers. What? Cheers. You don't? Oh, you're driving. Yeah. You're driving. That's cool. That's cool. Don't let the driver drink. <laughs> wow. That's like a citrusy one. This one, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I think he probably makes that. Well, isn't it that brand? I think it is. No, it must be. Yeah. It's delicious, though. Refreshing. I like, think it's like a beer that you feel like. A little bit up from it, you know? Right away. Now, all we need, Michael, is some hot babes to be going by in their little thong bikinis. But it's a little too early, maybe. Oh, we'll have to hang in there. Uh, yeah, you just got to hang out for a bit. Have a few more beers and That's see right. where it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're not threatening to put on your bikini, are you? No. All right, just no, check. I forgot my bikini. Oh, okay. okay. I'm going to go commando. Commando. <laughs> <laughs> I, felt, I found a uh, fellow Canadian, Stephen. And Stephen's staying here, and he's actually doing a tour of the north. That's correct. Which not many people do, which is really cool. Rented a car in Baguio. Yeah, yeah. And so, so far, you, you've only come down. Yeah. But you haven't been to Vegan yet, no, and Locos, Norde, and all the way around. Yeah. So this is going to be a cool trip. But you, you've you explored other parts of the Philippines. That's correct, yeah. All right. So what, what can you say uh, so far? What's your favorite area? Uh, I'm going to say uh, Cebu. And away from the city. Right, the city, right. The city's a little too crowded. Yeah, the, the traffic, the, though. The Ooh. mountains and the ocean. Wall Wall is beautiful. Yeah, I love Mall Wall. Uh, Oslob in that area. And did the you mountains. Do, do the whale shark? I tried to, but it was too crowded. It was oh. too, too many people. So we couldn't, we couldn't it wasn't too crowded when I went, but yeah, you got to be 5 in the morning, right? Like 5.30. Yeah. It was some crazy that's, day. That's what it was. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't get up there. Yeah, you know, right? <laughs> but it was, out of all my experiences in my whole life, it was the one experience that I'll never forget. Yeah, yeah. So it's worth doing, even if you have to like get up early. I'm yeah. going to be honest because Osmino Peak is real special. Huge. To Osmino Peak is a very special. Where's that? Too. Osmino Peak is in Cebu, just outside of Cebu. It's it's the uh, all the mountains right at the top. It's oh, a, it's the highest oh, sorry, peak. sorry, yes. Highest, highest so you peak went to Temple Lea and you went to like the the the, caf the French cafe at the top and all that uh, stuff. I think it was a French cafe. There's, it's, it's there's the two up peak. there. It's the highest peak. It's really uh, yeah. you see the whole. Yeah, everything. yeah. So I, I did go up there. Sorry, I forgot the name of it. Um, all right. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, and it, it, you're right. It is quite nice there. Um, and I've done Dumaguete, which is okay. Yeah. Uh, and I went right around uh, Negros. Oh, you did with the butt motorbike. Really? And that was not great, but through the mountains, it's spectacular. Yeah, it was really, really. Anywhere through the mountains is spectacular here. So that's, that's, that's true. That's true. 
That's so cool. So uh, you're <laughs> permanently retired now, but you're yeah. not permanently here. You're living in yeah. Florida and here. Yeah, I live in Montreal and Florida. Oh. If I go back and forth. Montreal okay, but Florida. Montreal is only beautiful in the summer. I go in the summer. Yes, yeah. right. And you guys have all the festivals there, right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. you have like the jazz festival. Yeah, is really yeah. also the comedy festival. Yeah, it's good. Montreal's beautiful in the summer. Yeah. yeah, and there and then you of course got all the ones times where there's a lot of naked people around too. So. Uh, no. Yeah, trust me, I've been to those festivals. I, I could tell you about them, but we won't talk about it on YouTube. Um, but yeah, they, they do have some of those. They, they have some of the fringe stuff. That's great. Uh, like all art artsy type places. Um, okay, so what about this place though? You've been this place is here? really nice. It's, uh, it's uh, I'm probably a little, it's around $100 US a night, but it's, okay. uh, you know, this is a great spot. The beach is beautiful. The food, the people are beautiful here. Yeah, and so it's about 5,000? Yeah, per night. Places. Okay, yeah. but you're so close to the beach. You just—I right. saw you come out of your room, and yeah. that's where we first said hi. Right here, yeah. And you—you you got all this. You didn't yeah. even try to try the German beer yeah, yet. But. The German beer, and they have free breakfast. Nice. So, okay. Spot. Yeah, <laughs> and like this beach, like that's crazy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really spectacular. Yeah. And if you think about it, like back home in Canada or even Florida or whatever. A hotel room, a basic hotel room is $100 a night. Basic, yeah, that's super great. basic. Because now inflation, right? It's like $200 for I like, found a decent one. Just within a year, because I was here last year, it went up. So the prices yeah. went up within a year. So the prices, I used to pay maybe, uh, you know, kind of cheap. So between $20 and $40 US a night. Yeah. And I can't find that anymore. No, anymore. no. So it's now 60, it's like the, the red doors with the with the yeah, stained sheets yeah. is all so that's left around that. It's a little pricier, you know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Inflation as, as I go world. north, it'll be cheaper. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. So, uh, are you going north? Or are you going to go to Baguio? I am going to go to Baguio, okay. and then I'm going to vegan. But I've been traveling for so long that uh, I, I, I kind of want to go back to Iloilo just to chill for a bit because I'm going to have so much. I, every day I'm go 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 go. Yeah. I need a few days. Yeah. I need a few days. Plus, I'll have tons of videos to edit. So. Yeah. I'll, I'll watch your channel though. Right. Yeah, a fellow Canadian regular guy, which I'm sure <laughs> many of you know, uh, but he has, he's not watching me. What the heck? What yeah. the heck? Please. All right. Take care. Appreciate Good. it. Thank you very much. Say hello, Sheena. Hi. All right. This is Sheena here, and she's saying I should have some uh, good German cuisine. And uh, so I'm going to have mashed potatoes, of course. Mashed you have potatoes. to have mashed potatoes with it. Okay. So I'm getting the schnitzel, and it should be delicious. Yes. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Sheena. Michael got uh, spinach lasagna. Yeah. What'd you get, brother? Uh, blue marlin. Blue marlin? Yeah. Wow. Okay, blue marlin. I got the schnitzel. Got so the like, I, I've got the German going on here. What do you mean I got spinach lasagna? Yeah, spinach lasagna. Super healthy. Yeah, okay. Wait a minute, brother. You're new. You're new. To, I haven't filmed you yet. And I got to get better light. So what's your name? Dennis. Dennis is from America. America, what? Washington. Washington. Washington State or? Washington State. Washington State. So he's on the West Coast. Yeah. He's got it. He's got it pretty good, but a lot of crazies over there. But you know. Yeah. 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 A little, a little <laughs> that's bit why of that. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get away from the crazies. Yeah. Anyway, our table just got bigger, as you can see, and everybody's enjoying the beer. Although we got, we, we still got to get you a beer. She's yep. She's coming. She's coming. Oh, it's dark on this side. Is that a little GoPro? Gina, listen. It was so wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank it was you, great sir. service. Thank you. We're going really far. We're going next door. I don't know how to get there. I think we go up here and to the right. Stay safe. Take care. Really, really enjoyed it. And, it, and there's a lot of expats here. I just went up into the restaurant. And there were several more there. So, yeah, it's a it's a popular destination. And now we're, I'm going to meet this guy in vegan. I'm changing it. I'm not going to Baguio next. I still will go to Baguio. But this guy, we're going to go to vegan. We're going to hang out. It's going to be fun. We'll see you tomorrow. That's so cool. So this place is the awesome hotel San Juan and you can see here it looks hyper modern and uh, I don't know a little too modern to me but we'll see we'll see uh, but he said let's go check it out so we're gonna check it out a lot of wind oh we're going over here we're not going over here oh the entrance okay wow okay so here is their front entrance and now you can see that it's like very very bougie and looks quite a bit different than what I just saw that one section there their front lobby is quite nice oh they're gonna open the door for me fantastic fantastic 
Here we go. Oh, I can feel the air conditioning. Hello, guys. Good afternoon. Wow. Yeah, this is this is a really, really sweet place. Well, hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Magandan Hapon. Magandan Hapon. Magandan Hapon. Wow, three guapas right here. Is it guapa? Am I getting it right? I'm from, oh, Gan yeah, so I'm from uh, Iluilo City, so Ilongo. So, Guapa? No, Maganda. Guapo, Guapa. Let me start over. Three Guapas. Don't worry, don't worry, Guapos. There we go, I got you all, I got you all. And look at this, look at this beautiful view. Wow. Oh, this is really, really nice. Michael, you really got the hookups, man. Look at this place. This is nice. Yeah. Wow. So you get two different feels. This is like that modern type vibe, and the next door was like much more of a beach vibe. More guapas. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Magandan Hapon. Very nice, very nice. This is nice. How old is this place? Just a few years old? A few years. Pretty new. Pretty new. Yeah, it's nice. They even have a gift shop over here. Hello. Hello, are you? Guapa. Here we go. Am I saying it right? It's Guapa, right? What? Guapa? Guapa. No, Maganda. Maganda. <laughs> Wait, are you admitting that? So I'm from Iluilo City, so it's Alongo. Oh. Yeah, it's a little different, right? Yeah. But princess. Yeah, princess. Wow. Did your mother give you that name or your father? My father. Of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> yeah. So are you a princess? Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, well, yeah? Yeah, you like maybe. the finer things in life? The money? Yeah, of course. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Wow. So this is the gift shop. And yeah, this is quite nice. Wow. How many rooms? Do you know how many rooms are here or no? What, sir? Do you know how many rooms are here? We do have. How many? Uh, hundred. A hundred rooms yeah. or something? Yeah. So a lot of people come here. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. I was just next door and I came by to say hello to everybody. <laughs> beautiful place. Wow, wait, wait, wait. Is Princess single? Um, no. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry, she's taken. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. It's all right, Princess has got a boyfriend. Yeah. Thank you, Princess. All right, have a good day. Oh, it's already open. Oh, it's already. The door was already open. I'm trying to open it. Yeah, this is nice. It's a great location. Very premium. Look at all the balconies that face out to the ocean. What you want? Hey guys, how are you? Got the rescue guys here. The awesome rescue guys. Hello guys. Good afternoon. Magandan Hapon. And I got a bar here. Very cool. Look at the basketball games going on. Philippines and basketball, they love it. Never see any Canadian hockey here, I wonder why. I'm not wondering, I'm just kidding. And look at this huge grassed area here. That must be so hard to keep it green like that. You can see the sprinklers are running, but during the day it just burns the, burns the grass, I'm surprised. But straight out to this beautiful beach, great spot, great spot. So I don't know if we're here having a beer or he said like just come and take a look at this place because it's really pretty. find out what the room rates are here okay you smiled first that's how it works whoever smiles first answers the questions good afternoon Janice okay Janice so tell me what are the room rates here oh. there we go so it starts at 7,500 on weekdays and it goes as high as 28,800 
So there you go. So standard ground floor is 7,500, but that's, as you can see, there's no ground floor that face out to the pool. So that's more likely going to come out here. Um, oh, in the back side yes. where we saw the first time. That makes sense. That makes sense. So once you get a nice view and everything, you're going to get closer to 10,000 pesos, 8,000. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. And then, uh, yeah, the most expensive is a premier suite, 28,800 for weekdays. So it's a very premium place, but you can see like this place is ridiculously nice, like really modern, really beautiful. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Janice. How long uh, have you been here, Janice? Um, one month. Sir. One month? Yes, sir. Holy smoke. I'm still new here. You're, you're just a newbie. And you live in this area? Um, no, sir. What town? Uh, Sudipen. How far away is that? Um, it's at the end of La Union, sir, before Ilongos. Oh, wow. So you, you come a long way to work? Yes. But you're here six days a week and then you go home one day? Yes, sir. Okay. During my home. And how far of, uh, is it bus or jeepney or whatever? Uh, around one hour. Oh, it's one hour away. Because at Locos is two hours, right? Yes. Or two and a half? Something like that? Because vegans, how far? Depends when there's a traffic part. Right, right, right. Wow. Wow, Janice. Fantastic. And so you, you only have uh, Sundays off? Um, no, sir. Oh. It depends. Oh, it depends. Okay. Yes. It's not always the same. Fantastic. Well, this place is really nice, so I guess you're liking the job? Yes. Yeah, very nice. The 29 and I find myself wondering What did happen to the last 10? I ran away with my life fast forward Never turn back again 